and guys there you can see it works really great hey what's up guys techno review here in this video i'll show you how you can install any windows operating system on your android device yes this works and this is the updated method for 2017 and this works really great on any android device so you can install windows xp windows 7 windows 8 8.1 and all the way up to the latest one which is windows 10 so with the help of this method you can install any windows operating system on any android device no matter you're having a cheap android device or you're having a very costly android device you don't need to be worried about anything like that if you follow the method very carefully which i'm going to show you in this video you can install any windows operating system on your android phone so before starting this video i would like you to know that all the necessary links are down there in the description of this video so you can get into the description and you can download all the links which are needed for this process so with it further ado let's get started so at first what you need to do you just need to get into play store and over here you need to search for this application which is called limbo and this is a pc emulator application limbo and it is available on play store now and from here you can download the application so once you download the application from here you need to get into the description there i provided the operating system image file and for the sake of this video i had quickly downloaded windows xp as because the windows 10 iso file is around 1.5 gigabytes of size so for showing you guys the process quickly i had downloaded windows xp and I will even provide you the link of the Windows XP image file which I had downloaded. So just get into the description and download the image file. So once you install this application, you need to get into the file explorer first. So for me, I'm using the default file explorer, but you can use ES file explorer or whichever you want. So just get into the storage section and on the internal storage, I'll just decrease the brightness so that you can see it properly so here you can see we are in the file explorer and this is the internal storage of this device and down here we'll get a folder over here limbo so you just need to get into the folder and over here you need to paste the windows operating system image file so down here you can see i pasted xp.img so this is the image file which is around 369 megabytes so i had downloaded this and i had pasted the file on the limbo folder which is there on the internal storage of your device so at first you won't get this folder limbo on your internal storage so for that you need to run the application limbo first on your device and after that you'll get the folder so once you get the folder just copy and paste the image file of the operating system on this folder itself don't need to get into any of the folder inside limbo folder just keep it inside the limbo folder so once you copy and paste the image file over here you need to get into the limbo application now so once you are in limbo application over here you'll get load machine option and you'll get user interface and there are a bunch of options over here to select i'll quickly show you the options and what are the usage for this so now i'll select load machine over here so just tap on new and over here you need to enter the machine name so just enter the machine name as xp or whatever name you want so for me it's xp and now on the user interface you'll get vnc make it sdl so just go through the steps which i'm showing you in this video as because if you don't go through the steps properly then your operating system may not run or may run incorrectly so i had selected sdl on the user interface on the architecture i had selected x86 so you need to select x86 over here don't select x64 it shows that it supports x64 but by using x64 you might face some problem so i had set this on x86 but if you want to test then you can make it x64 cpu model kimu 32 make sure you select this one and on the cpu course make sure you select as one this one is very important if you select it two then the image file may not run on your device so for the time being i selected one and on ram i'll select 512 megabytes of ram 
So I selected 512 megabytes of RAM over here on hard disk A. I will select hard disk A and over here you'll get none. Just tap on this one and select open over here. So once you select open, you'll get the option to select the image file. It's in my internal storage. There is a folder called limbo. So I'll get into the folder quickly and there you'll get the image file which we had copied and pasted. So just tap on the image file name hit ok go down and over here you'll get vga display make sure you select this as std and after that you don't need to select anything over here on sound card network network card anything you don't need to select anything over here boot from device will be default you don't need to touch anything over here even and down here you need to select full screen and also on the orientation you need to select as landscape so after this you are done with the settings so now we are ready to play windows xp on our android phone so now tap on play so there you can see and guys over here based on your mobile phone's performance it may take three to four minutes maximum it will take around five minutes to completely load any windows operating system on this application and guys there you can see it works really great and we are in windows xp from here we can use windows xp it shows the new hardware found so from here we can install the hardware but for the timing i'll cancel it and there you can see we are in windows xp and you can customize your windows xp or any other windows operating system the way you want so guys that was the way on how you can install any windows operating system on your android phone and this works really great so with the help of this application limbo you can install any windows operating system right from your android phone so that's pretty much it and that's all for this video and if you like this video then do hit the like button down below and also subscribe to our channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one